Hey, Blender fans out there. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, render passes. Basically, uh, what they can do for you. So, so uh, anyone who's been doing uh, 3D for a while will know that if you render a scene and you render it as a full composite of all the different passes, you know, there's not a whole lot of tweaking you can do inside of a program like After Effects or some kind of compositing program. So today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get all your passes rendered out, and you only have to do the render once. You do the render once, and I'll save and organize all your passes all at once, so you can take it into a program like After Effects, and then uh, do your compositing. And the new feature in Blender called the File Output Node makes this really easy to do, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So what I'm going to do here, if I go into Blender, Let's go back to my default scene here. I came here and I'm going to add a plane real quick. Just uh, move that down. And I'm going to scale it. And then I'm going to make this plane reflective. I'm going into my mirror. Just add a little bit of reflectivity to it. Then I'm also going to make sure my cube has material, which it does. So that's good. Next thing what I'm going to do is I want to set up all my passes. So, so the way I do that is I'm going to go to my render layers here. I'm going to name the first layer Diffuse. <laughs> now I'm going to spell everything right. Okay, I'm going to pass them on, check everything. Then I'm just going to select Diffuse. And also, I'm going to uncheck Sky. Next, I'm going to add another render layer, and I'm going to call this Reflect. The same thing, I'm going to uncheck all my passes and add uh, Reflection. Then, I'm also going to do a uh, Z pass. I'm going to need that Z, I'm going to uncheck everything. Then, I'm going to check Z. Basically, what a Z pass is good for is if you're doing um, depth of field inside of After Effects, um, having a Z pass is really, really beneficial. Right, so now I got that set up, then I'm going to go to my compositor. Basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a file output node. Look at my layer, I have three layers, so I'm going to duplicate this three times. Okay, then I'm going to go my file output, uh, and then I'm going to make sure I have my panel open here. If you don't have your panel, pressing the end key toggles that on and off. Okay, so for my base path, Go over in here, and I'm going to go to my desktop, make a new dictionary, a directory, and I'm going to call it Renders. Yeah, I'm going to make another uh, directory, and I'm going to call this one, um, Reflect. You know, in there, and then I'm going to go and hit Accept. Right here, I'm going to select what I want to output to. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use a ping. And I'm going to set it to RGB. Okay, then I'm going to add another node. And it's going to be uh, output. Uh, no, it's going to be input render layers. I'm going to select my reflect path. And I'm going to attach it to that file output node. And I have another node here, my diffuse pass. I'm going to attach it to this file output node here. And I'm going to go back to my directory, renders, menu directory, diffuse, accept. And then I'm going to add another render layer. 
and when you go to Z, now for your Z patch, you have to do something a little bit differently. What you have to do, you have to add another node, and this is under uh, vector normalize. Z there. And attach that to your file, file output node. Then I'll go back to my folder here. Do that. And hit accept. And the final thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a um, composite node in here because render won't, Blender won't render unless you have a composite node set up. And for the composite node, what, what you can do is make a new render layer and call it composite. Just leave all the paths selected for that. And then right under there. And attach that to my composite node and make sure the is selected. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to give this a quick save. Uh, where are my Blender projects? Oh, it's in my Dropbox. Let's see, Dropbox. Hmm, okay, well, I'm just gonna, um, make a new directory here. Finally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into uh, render view, and then I'm gonna uh, set it to render two frames. I'll just make it three frames in my timeline here. And it's really not gonna do anything, but uh, you get the idea. I'm gonna give it a quick save, and now we hit uh, animation to render. And we're just gonna let that render out. And I'll give it a quick pause while it's rendering. Okay, so we have all our passes rendered here. Now, if we go back to my folder on my desktop here. Now, if I go into my diffuse folder. And open this up. See, we have three frames of nothing but diffuse pass. And if we go to my reflect folder. Uh, three frames and nothing but deflect pass. And if you go into my Z folder, you can see we have three frames and nothing but my Z pass. So this is pretty useful in the dark, and if I had a complex scene, I could render out the whole thing, and get all my passes all at once, and then take it in After Effects and have a ball with it. Um, anyway, uh, this has been a quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you like my videos, subscribe, and leave, drop me a comment, and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.